going, y'all? Did you guys do the reading? No. Oh, I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to COVID-19 101. And bananas! Welcome to our class. Come in, have a seat. But remember, stay six feet apart, and that's one black bear length away. So I've been reading a lot about COVID, and I just have a lot of questions about it. I know we have to socially distance and wear face coverings, but why? When someone is infected with SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, they can be spreading the virus to others without even knowing it. They may not have any signs or symptoms, but the virus can be infectious and remain in their body for up to two weeks. And during that time, they can be spreading it to others unknowingly. Oh, okay. So someone could be perfectly healthy and spread the virus without even knowing it. Exactly. The virus is spread in these tiny respiratory droplets. And those droplets are released from an infected person anytime that they're coughing, sneezing, talking, or even just breathing. Those tiny respiratory droplets can spread up to six feet and infect another person. We also can release these micro droplets called aerosols, and they can spread even further than six feet. That's why it's incredibly important that we remain six feet apart or more. Let's head outside. I'm going to show you a demonstration. So the droplets containing the virus can spread up to six feet. But remember, the micro droplets or aerosols can spread even further. So if we all stay six feet apart, that gives us enough space that the virus won't spread. Oh. And if we all wear masks, that also helps. If we wear face coverings, it actually traps the virus so that it can't be expelled from our nose or mouth. But we have to make sure that we're wearing a proper cloth face covering. Shown here are some examples of proper cloth face coverings that have multiple layers of fabric. They fit snugly and they fit comfortably across your face, covering your nose and mouth. And then they usually tie or have ear loops that go behind your ears, just like Bananas is wearing. We also want to make sure that we're washing our face coverings on a daily basis so that they're always clean because if you keep wearing the same face covering, it can actually become a breeding ground for bacteria. The face coverings shown here on the bottom are not acceptable types of face coverings, and those include things like neck gaiters or bandana style coverings and face shields. And that's because the virus actually can sneak out from behind the face shield, and there it can go and infect other people. Oh, so we need to wash our face masks every day. Yes. To help keep everyone on our campus safe and healthy, we have to remember to avoid the four C's to reduce COVID-19 transmission. We have to avoid closed spaces, crowded places, close contact, and contact time. We have to reduce our contact time so that we are not in places that have poor ventilation in large groups, especially for a long period of time. Bananas, remember when you were begging to get a picture with Dr. Malloy and I at commencement? I'm sorry, but we just can't do that kind of stuff anymore. So I just found the Black Bear Pact on umaine.edu, but how do we know if someone's sick? So we don't always know when someone is sick. So we need to assume that anyone could be infected with COVID-19 and be extremely careful and cautious. It's recommended that all students, faculty, and staff actually are using the symptom checker each day to determine whether they are cleared for campus access. So how does hand washing help prevent the virus from spreading? The SARS-CoV-2 virus is actually surrounded in a layer of fat or lipids. And when we wash our hands with soap and water or use hand sanitizer, we actually destroy that layer and the virus is no longer infectious. So anytime we touch a surface, like a desktop or a doorknob or use the restroom, it's incredibly important that we wash our hands so that we don't transmit the virus to our own nose, mouth, or eyes. That's a great question, Bananas. Whoa, 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 stop, Bananas. Remember, we can't high five. We need to wash our hands for at least 20 seconds. That's about the length of the beginning of the Stein song. Fiddles and Steins, dear old May, shout till the rafters ring. Stand and drink a toast once again, let every loyal name then sing. Drink to all the happy hours, drink to 
to the careless days. Drink to Maine, our alma mater, the college of our hearts always. Woo! Okay, so does anyone have any final questions? Great, you've all got it. You know how you're going to stay safe and healthy. You're going to practice physical distancing. You're going to wear your face coverings. You're going to wash your hands. You're going to avoid close spaces, crowded places, and close contact and contact time. Excellent. Well, it's time for lunch. <laughs>